Just jump over there though. Plan for today, have some more fun, catch some fish. I think we're gonna do a little fish fry. Uh, try to keep like, I don't know, probably six or seven fish. Cook them up for lunch and see how they taste. We wanna compare the different species. Like if we can get a brook trout, cutthroat trout, and a grayling, that'd be cool. Grayling. Maybe a keeper grayling, huh? Guys, first fish of the day, and I think we're gonna keep it. Well, it's always tough because we caught some bigger ones. What do you guys think? Turn this one back. That's it. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. We matter. Hungry. These savages, man. Big one. Dude, catch, clean, cook, you gotta catch one. And you gotta keep one. And you gotta clean one. <sighs> Not what you wanna do if you're gonna release them, but I, think, I don't have a knife. Does anybody have a knife on them? I know. I get one real quick. It kills them fast and it bleeds them out. That's why you wanna do that. Now we gotta make a little. I'm still alive. We gotta make a little stringer. You guys ever make a stringer before? I used to do this with my dad. I'll show you how we do it. So you take, I got some 15 pound unclaw here. That, okay, stick to it and then you got a stringer. I'll go find a stick, I'll be right back. Grayling eat really well. You're allowed to keep six up here, so we got one. Catch some more. Mateo, my best fish of the trip. Oh. Right there, ate right, that pheasant tail. Grayling acquired. Lunch secured. Nice. So I made this stringer, just basically took a, some tippet, tied a couple square knots. Take this and run it through its gills. Like that. Slide them down. Then you take your stick. I just always just put a couple wraps on it so it doesn't come off. Put them out in the water so they stay fresh. Put a rock over. Homemade stringer, guys. Probably gonna patent that one. All right, guys. We are gonna eat a couple grayling for lunch. About four or five. So this is the quickest way I know how to gut a fish. Turn your knife around. Go straight up the belly. I always stop just a little short with their gills. You come in underneath here and cut that. And then you grab this. Try to stick your finger all the way down past their gills. Then you rip, and you should be able to rip both their front fins off, completely gutted. Then you also want to clean out on the inside. All this extra blood. And that should look like something like that. And then all this season the inside. I think we're just going to cook these directly on the camp chef. And once they're done, we'll be able to peel the skin off, pick through the bones, and have a nice little fish fillet. All right, guys, we're going to cook up our grayling. So what we've got going is we got some breadcrumbs that we didn't use all of last night. And then I brought up some, uh, like, 
wild trout seasoning. And we got it in this bag. We got the fish cut up. What we're gonna do here, I'm gonna throw them in here one at a time. Shake and bake. So we're gonna throw it on this cast iron. This is the Mountaineer series. Aluminum stove from Camp Chef. Some big ones. Yeah. The odd one of the bunch. <laughs> I think we're good. We put a little tin foil on the top just to keep that heat in so we can the inside got cooked. Thank you. Perfect. The eyeball exploded. Douse with a little bit of fish head if anybody wants it. Those look phenomenal, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that one, dude. Yeah. Like a nice quick marshmallow. Okay, now I'm going to do a little lemon on them. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Idaho grayling, mountain lake. Hold on. It's amazing. Watch how easy the Sorry. bones come off. I can't see it. <laughs> Boy, no. It's phenomenal. Super good. Which one's the spicy one? Is it the jalapeno one? No, that one's over here. Got, this Got some skin on there. Big fan. Bread crumbs and lemon. Don't eat their scale. That's money right there. That was good. Who caught that? That's a good fish. Yeah. That's phenomenal. I know I didn't catch it. <laughs> This is usually the best meat up here. Moin. You couldn't order that at like a five star restaurant. I don't have it that fresh. Unless they had a pond in the back. <laughs> tastes better with thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning always makes it taste better. Yeah. I'm going in for round two. Go in, man. Start picking away. Mm -hmm.